Hey, welcome back. I love my recording studio. It's in the garden. Well, the bottom of the garden, about 30 meters away. The problem with it, though, is that when it is raining or really, really super duper ice freezing cold, I've got to go through the garden to get to it. Uh, even though the garden room is insulated, it is still really, really cold in there. And when it's raining, the rain hits the roof and it's, it's a bit annoying. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna use this room in our house, which is about two meters by two meters. It's a pretty small room. Got some shelving units, an old table. There's a cupboard over here as well, which you can probably see. But I'm going to redo the flooring, redo the walls, insulate them, you know, bring my stuff in. And the plan is to start doing my recordings here. So A, it's warmer. I don't have to keep going into the garden office to do my recordings. And if I can make this dark and work with the lighting, this would be super cool. Well, let's get rid of these shelves. Got to take out screws in the knee and then the screws in the wall. I'm just going to pull them off. Right now, I think we'll just start to lift up this carpet. The super yucky floorboards. Fantastic, eh? So we're now going to put down some underlay, some soundproofing boards almost. And then on top of that, we're going to stick some laminate. So there's the floorboards down and now it's to get some uh, laminate wood down. These are my favourite floorboards, uh, mainly because there's a bit of a gripper on the underside, so there's no slippage. But also, if you look, there is no tunnel groove. There's nothing like traditional laminate where you've got to like fit them in a certain way, maybe knock them down or whatever. These literally just lay flat. They lay flat laminate pieces. So you just put them down and there is weight to them, so they're not going to move around. It'd be an understatement to say I am not feeling tired because I'm feeling tired right now. Uh, and the floor, is kind of nearly all done. So I've just been clearing out my old recording studio, taking out all the equipment, you know, from the old walls and everything. So this is where I used to sit. Uh, down here, I used to have my ornaments and images and everything down here. So that's all been removed now and it's all been transported over into the other spare room. Okay, so you can see that the Amazon delivery has arrived. No, I don't mean him, I mean these. So these are sound boards so I've got to unpack and just some extra equipment I'm putting up in the room. So these are the sound boards. They're uh, 30 centimetres by 40 centimetres and they're about one centimetre in depth there. And they are really sturdy and I was using these in the garden room and I've got 48 of these and then they're going to be stuck uh, along the wall. So I'm sticking them with some power bond, just glue really, you know, just a few dabs here and there and on you go. You don't have to cover it by the way, just put them in the corners and that's absolutely fine. This is really strong stuff and it will do the job. But no nails, glue, anything like that, let's just get sticking. Cutting the lid, so rather than using that bit, but cutting the top off using like a plastic, like kid's <laughs> knife or whatever, it's far more easier in taking out and applying. Just my tip. Sorry for the quality not looking good because I haven't got my lighting all sorted out, but we have that wall. Next thing I do is got to work out where everything goes. So I'm now just going to start positioning my shelves and my ornaments. So it's two meters by two meters. It's got some sound boards there. A bit of a rug here that I pull across the door to help soundproof it. We've got some more boards there. Uh, this covers an indoor cupboard. Um, again, just to soundproof it. Light, spotlight shining down. I have some blackout blinds there that I can pull down and completely black out the light. And then we have the desk area over here. Uh, so this is how it is. So it's kind of like, almost like a copy of what I had in the garden room, but just slightly laid out differently. So I've got my fluorescent lights, or LEDs, whatever you want to call them over there. Blue one, purple one, 
I've got a light at the back down there as well. And I have a light just down here as well, which isn't currently on. Um, I'll show you that later on though, when, I sh when I'm sitting down. I've got my computer, I've got my microphone and uh, my holder over here. By the way, I'm gonna put links to all of these uh, down below. They are affiliate links, but if you wanna go and purchase them, this is the equipment I use. So I've got my microphone and the holder over here. This is actually relatively quite cheap, the whole unit. Um, I've got this Anchor 6-in-1, which if you've got a MacBook Air where you've only got two ports, this is super good for the USB, for the Ethernet cable, because my modem is uh, downstairs, or the router, sorry, not the modem, the router. And I've got my power cable there, and this works brilliantly in terms of maximizing the ports I've got, because I've got a cable over here that feeds through to my phone. And I'm using the Camo app, um, and I have paid to get the pro version, but this now means that I'm using my phone as my webcam. So when I'm using, looking at OBS and everything like that, I am kind of viewing myself through my phone. And if I just show you here, if I just go over to OBS at the moment, like that, that is coming through my phone right now. So it's super, super, super good. That is the room makeover. So I'm now gonna turn on the lights one by one, so just so you can see what's going on here, okay? So I'm gonna turn on the spotlight first and just drop that down a bit. I'm gonna, we've already got those two lights on, by the way. Pop this light on over here, pop that light on over there. And then we've got some side lights as well. So if I put that one on, that gives a bit of a blue shine over there. And then over here, we've got a bit more of a purple one and I can either angle that more towards the wall or a little bit onto my face, just a little bit like that. So what I get is I get a bit of the blue coming over from here, and the blue light shining up over there, and we've got a purple there. And that's kind of the lighting. Um, and I can, if I want, brighten this up a little bit, but I tend to find this kind of works okay, and a little bit, I can brighten it just a little bit more. But that kind of does me. So there it is, there's the office, um, from the garden room over to here, blackboards, lighting, everything done in total. It took about seven to eight hours, roughly. I'd say, let's go to eight hours because I had to clear out the other room as well, but eight hours to sort of remanufacture this room. And so far, it's doing okay. Take care and I'll see you soon.